friend i have this tp link model tlwa901n 450 mbps wireless and access point and today i'm going to provide you the guideline how to make configuration as a access point if you want to use with the cable connection and you want to keep a default setting no need to do any kind of setting just plug and play it means you have to connect the wire from your main router to this TP-Link 901ND and use the default wireless SSID which is written behind the router you can see it backside there is wireless SSID wireless SSID is TP-Link AP and there is wireless password you have to use the same wireless password and same ssid you can see in your mobile devices or any of the devices which you want to connect it uh, that you can see it there and just connect it and use the same password which is written there behind the router that you can access the internet so let's start that how to uh, how to do the configuration as a default setting so first we have to put in power on there is one more thing that uh, if you have long distance like uh, 15 meter 20 meters so there is a positive PoE adopter included with uh, this 901N so you can just power in in the DC power and you have to find a cable which is long like 50 meter or something so which you have to connect it from the power positive PoE PoE port and then just power in no need to put the power power connection to this port you have to just power in you will see the light will be on after that you can see it the power when it's connected to this port you can see the power should be in positive poe positive you can see the poe poe port we are connected for poe port and you can see the light is on there is we not connected to this port we just connect this positive poe adopter positive poe injector and this can give you the power through wire so if you have the long distance you have to use this with your 901nd this is very best and good things with this tp link 901nd which is providing power over ethernet so if you want power and internet so both side you can get it and we have to use another cable from our main router which is connected with the internet to this passive PoE you can see it the passive PoE so we no need to connect with the 901 ND just connect like normal with this passive PoE injector so the red one is for internet and yellow one is connected through power and internet we can receive it here light is flashing now you can see it here so this way is very good for this TP-Link 901N or N access point series that have passive PoE injector that you can connect and you have to see this in we are going you can see the wireless network name the TP-Link and you can see the back back side this E8 the same and we are using the password which is written behind the device so password is 683 
connect you can see it is connected after connected we will check it the internet I said default see is the default is working So this is very simple way to configure this 901N as an access point. Just plug and play, no need to change anything. If you want to change wireless SSID and password, you can change it. Back of the device, there is a written TP link, ap.net, log in it and change wireless network name and password but if you want to keep as a default you have to just connect it and connect with your router and power on it if you want to see it how I was connected you can see it this is this is the main router this is the main router and there is access point which is connected to this router so only the cable connection very simple red is for internet and yellow is going from this passive PoE injector to this 901 ND and 901 N is getting the internet from this passive PoE injector so if you have the long way long long distance and you know have there is power socket or anything so you have to use this passive PoE injector to get internet and battery speed Hope you like my video, please subscribe my channel and like my videos and press the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching.